Similar attention puts you in your most dominant form in every facet of your life. It sounds like a flashy statement, right? To reel in viewers and then following up with eight minutes of excitement and motivation around semen retention. Just like in every single one of my videos, I'll actually tell you what, how, and why. And I choose my words very carefully. So then if I tell you that semen retention puts you in your most dominant form, and that it changes the perspective you have about yourself and your connection and relationship, to everything around you. And I absolutely mean that, I stand behind that, and I'll tell you exactly why. What's up, man? Good to see you again, welcome back. It's always great to have you. I know you're not roaming around on YouTube for hours and hours, you got shit to do, so let's get into it. Watching porn, masturbating is an addiction. Any behavior that is a net negative for you and stimulates a sense of self-rejection after doing it creates a pattern where you don't want to feel the self-rejection and therefore do it again and porn and masturbation is a very is a very normalized one and one that at the very least holds you back from seeing what you can be and at the at the highest level something that is completely self-destructive so anyone that is not on semen retention is somewhere on that spectrum and it is totally fine if you don't practice there's absolutely nothing wrong with that for the men that choose the path of semen retention and choose that other route and let me tell you we are very much outnumbered we are in a very very steep minority however it is so much more than overcoming just that addiction. You actually start getting into another realm, if you will. And when you get there, you'll realize that it is much more than overcoming an addiction and that it opens you up to a, a whole new world. After practicing for more than four years in different kinds of ways and cycles, I've spent hours and hours writing about it, talking about it with other men that are on this journey. And at this point, I can tell you why this strange practice adds so much to your life that you cannot foresee as you get into it. Why that is, is because semen retention is a journey within yourself. It is an exploration of your own unique masculinity. It is an exploration of your spirituality and it is an exploration of your character. David Buss, an amazing evolutionary biologist, and I really urge you to check him out. There's an amazing podcast from Lex Friedman, where he is also a guest. And one of the many things that this man talks a lot about is dormant genetic code. So you have a set genetic code that comes from your parents and their parents, the cocktail of, of genetic information and data that has made you who you are. We function to a certain degree based on this genetic code. But the absolutely fascinating thing is most of your genetic code is dormant. And genetic code has been found to be activated through experience. So let me give you an example. Us men, we have a whole line of ancestors that have been in the most horrible wars, thousands and thousands of years of gruesome violence and, and pillaging tribes and all this stuff that's inside our genetic code. The reason that we seem so civilized and that it seems like this genetic code isn't a part of us anymore is because we are not exposed to the context of that behavior. There is a whole line of genetic code in us men that is about war and pillaging and about the dark side of violence. And so if we were to be placed in this primitive context, it is free for all, every man for himself, you know, self-preservation, then we would expand a whole different new side of ourselves and we would add that to our character. So what that says about you, it is new context, experiences, behaviors, ideas, thoughts that will literally awaken dormant genetic code inside you. And it can be said that the only purpose for us in life is to unlock as much of this dormant genetic code that will literally expand what we are spiritually related to your masculinity, right? This exact darker side that I'm talking about to master and conquer that. Same about your character. There's so much positive and meaningful traits to you that you are simply not aware of. So how does this relate to semen attention? What I have found over four years in, in long streaks, in short streaks, in, in everything in between. I have seen myself in a different light. Spiritually, socially, in, in love, in relationships, sexually, character traits that I have. Listen, I, I was addicted to weed and when I sobered up, 
I had a long period of time where I was almost struggling with a social side that I had. And it was only until I started practicing semen retention where I couldn't simply hold this shit back anymore. I was seeing myself in social situations where often I would think first about a joke I would make in a big group. I couldn't even catch myself. I already made it. I already expressed myself. I already said it. It was seeing myself in this new context, new behavior, new ideas, new feelings. So in this example, I literally see a different side of myself, a curious, energetic, social side that I always knew was kind of in there, but I didn't know how to express. It just came out in full force and seeing that in front of my own eyes, it changes you. It completely changes your character, your relationship to yourself, right? In, in connection to masculinity, another example, I, I used to be, I used to feel a lot of resistance to express my natural desires to be dominant sexually. For some reason, there was a resistance, right? But I always felt there's something that, that wants to go out here. So four years ago, as I started practicing semen retention, right, there was no time anymore to think or to over, I didn't care about it. It simply naturally was expressed. And I can only tell you the effects that that has on you, right? Just an example like that, where sexually you start to express yourself as a man and you connect to your masculinity. The absolute butterfly effect that that has on the rest of your life and all starting at semen retention. And at this point you might ask, hey, you might be an exception, maybe other people aren't like that. And I cannot argue that point. Of course, every man is different, it depends, it varies. But as you know, I'm not a YouTuber, I am a coach. I help men actualize themselves and every single client that I've guided on this semen retention journey, I have seen the exact same exploration of these topics. I've seen this journey with them themselves as I experienced it for myself, even more extreme cases that I experienced. So when I tell you that semen retention puts you in your most dominant form, I don't mean that in a way that suddenly you walk the planet like a gorilla and every guy and every woman bows for you as you enter the bar. Please, this, this ego side I am really not interested in. I'm telling you in your most dominant form in every territory of your life that you just don't care anymore about all the noise and thoughts that, that stop you from expressing yourself in every single way or topic in your life. I think that is your most dominant form.